I want to show you guys all of my filming gear and why I use it. So let's get to it. This is all my filming gear. Oh, look, it's me. Hey, this is my Manfrotto fluid head video tripod. Very rugged and heavy duty, a bit too much for my camera, but it's a good investment. This is my Glycam HD 2000, although it looks more like an XR 2000 based on the mounting bracket. But I use this for getting smooth cinematic footage. It's a lot more fluid than a 3-axis gimbal. This is a mini slider I made out of a free sample from a company. I just drill some holes and use that to get just a little bit of dramatic sliding shots. This is my Zoom H5 audio recorder, which I use to record audio. I like that it has a dedicated volume knob so I can quickly and smoothly adjust audio. It has a headphone jack for monitoring and even XLR inputs, even though I don't have any XLR microphones yet. This is my $30 lavalier microphone and I have an iPhone adapter so I can use my iPhone as a wireless mic. I got this clampy boy to attach my Zoom H5 either to a tripod or a boom pole. It's a great way for securing it. Very sturdy. Once you lock it in, it doesn't go anywhere. This is a 10 foot audio cable by Rode. I just use that to plug in my Rode Video Micro so I can get my microphone much closer. These are my modern headphones, the Status Audio CB1s. They're over-ear headphones, so they're nice and comfortable for my large ears. And it has 50 millimeter drivers, so I guess that's a good thing. And here's my Rode Video Micro. I use this microphone all the time. It sounds great, very versatile, and it's $60. Here's my camera, the Panasonic GH4 with the 12 to 35 millimeter lens. A great combination, great 4K video, and I use this SanDisk Extreme card that came with the camera. Combined with this lens, it's a great all around camera. My other camera shooting this video is the Panasonic G7. Basically the same quality as my GH4, only it's slightly cheaper. And I thought I'd include my iPhone 7 Plus. I use this for taking notes for planning for videos, or taking pictures for Instagram and editing photos and using it as a phone. To go along with that, I have an SD card reader so I can import photos and edit that with Visco. I have the Panasonic 25 millimeter F 1.7 lens. It's kind of like the nifty 50 for Panasonic cameras and you can find it for $150. So it's a great budget option. Oh, oh, what's this? The Rokinon Cine 16 millimeter T2.2. It's a manual focus prime lens. And to make it work with my camera, I just have this basic manual adapter. With that T2.2, you can get a pretty good shallow depth of field. I always keep some C47s in my bag, usually for attaching, what, wait, what? Okay, usually for just attaching wax paper onto my lights as diffusion. And speaking about lights, here's my bicolor LED light by Andower. A $30 LED light, super bright, I usually use this as my key light. You can go from tungsten all the way to daylight, or you can try to mix both so you can get the maximum output. I use this Sony NPF batteries, but without the battery, it's pretty lightweight. This is grease paper. I use this to diffuse my lights, so it's a bit softer. And every YouTuber has to have a gorilla pod. This is just a generic one. I didn't get the expensive one by Joby. I actually got it at a yard sale for a dollar. And this is a cell phone mount, so you can attach your phone to any tripod. At the dollar store, usually they come with a selfie stick, so you can get one for a dollar. Here's a stable boy. It's a DJI Osmo 3-axis gimbal. I just use this for my smartphone. I forgot to charge it. The batteries I use for the Zoom H5 are these. Duracell rechargeable batteries. Using rechargeable batteries will save time and money, and I've been happy with these. I got some third-party batteries from my Panasonic G7 and GH4. I have two newer ND filters. One's a 58 millimeter, and the other is a 77 for my larger lenses. 
Here's a few extra 64 gigabyte SD cards and a quick release plate. I attach this to my camera and have the plates mounted on my Glycam and tripod. I got two big Sony NPF 970 batteries. Probably too big for my LED light, but oh well. This is a Samsung T5 SSD, 500 gigabytes. This thing is pretty fast, so I use this as my editing drive. It's pretty small too. Got some microfiber cloths for cleaning things. I use the black one to clean off screens and the white one for my lenses. I found this empty ketchup bottle lying around and I use it as an air blower. This is my camera bag by USA Gear. It's a sling bag, very small, but it can hold quite a bit. Up on the top I have extra stuff, lens pens, and of course business cards, because you never know when you need to hand those out. It's great if you're looking for something small, but also to hold quite a bit of gear. Oh, this is my GoPro Hero 5. Just a note if you're thinking about buying a GoPro, you may not be using it as much as you think, so you might want to get a cheaper one. Oh, here's my reflector. I use this a bunch. I was using it to diffuse the light, and I use this reflector clamp. It makes it very easy to mount your reflector. I just use this Lowell light stand I found, and it works pretty fine. It's not the best light stand, but it works. So that is the majority of the equipment that I use to make these videos, as well as freelance projects. I also received an Aperture Amaran M9 from Aperture. Um, it's pretty cool getting products from bigger companies, but I'm super excited to test out this little light and maybe do a comparison with my other LED light. There will be links in the description below, so if you're curious about the pricing, you can just click through that link. If you do click through those links in the description and purchase something, I receive a small commission. Every little bit helps. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned till next time.